So this protest began on Monday, um, and at that point they were all camped out on uh, Parliament Square, all the way down here in Whitehall, uh, also on Lambeth Bridge and Vauxhall Bridge, uh, and Trafalgar Square. The police have finally got a kind of grip, and uh, most of the protesters are now kettled in Trafalgar Square up there just behind me. Is this a transport of the future, sir? Could it? From the Sunday Times, what on earth is this? It's a method of having to make something absolutely ridiculous to get people like the Sunday Times interested. Well, you've done it, you've done it. What do you want to happen? We want the truth to be told, that primarily that the media takes it upon themselves to, to transmit the message that's been publicly available of all climate science for decades and to get the government to act, to put pressure on big business to actually sort out the fact that we're heading for a complete catastrophe. Well, we need the government to lean on big business, really, because as individual people, we can't change how much plastic is used, we can't change where money's invested. So we need to see massive divestment away from fossil fuels for a start, and the government can do that a lot. That's a complex issue. Yeah, that's a complex issue. But yeah, primarily legislating against so many hugely polluting industries that we all know who they are, we all know such obvious solutions that can be made. I have never seen a more white middle-class protest in my life. John Snow should be here to revel in it. Hello, from the Sunday Times. Hi. How seriously does your dog worry about climate change? Um, as much as a dog can do, but yes, yeah, she's certainly a rebel. She's a rebel. She's extremely non-violent. Extremely non-violent. So yes, anybody can pat her. Right. Uh, this, is, this is a rude question. Yeah. This is this just a peasant, rather, comfortable gathering for very middle class people uh, which disrupts the lives of ordinary Londoners. I think the trouble is that what's been used so far around talking and uh, possible sort of Greenpeace and Friends of the Earth actions hasn't worked and it's time to step it up. Thank you. Thank you dog. My dog supports UKIP but that's... I thought all dogs did. But... So it's quite exciting because a woman is keening uh, like a uh, kind of superannuated Joan Baez. Uh, we might go and see her. She's going, ah, ah, ah. But couldn't you, intelligent bloke, you know, um, you know you say, uh, couldn't you just go home, leave ordinary Londoners to go about their lives and stand for Parliament? I might vote for you. You might. Um, I think it's been tried through the political process for years now. For 30 years we've known about the dangers of climate change. As uh, Boris Johnson pointed out the other day, Margaret Thatcher even mentioned it. Since that time, carbon emissions have gone up 60%. So, right or wrong, you may disagree with me, but we feel that this is the best way at the moment to highlight the problem and get some action soon because it has to be done soon. So do you think the rest of us are stupid? No. No, I'm, I actually would, li would like to know um, what the people in power are actually thinking. Almost totally the, the, the changes that they're saying is it's happening faster than we thought it was going to happen. And surely we should engage a precautionary principle here. You know, if we don't really know what's going to happen, say if your house was on fire and you weren't sure how much time you had would you be there going oh, I'm pretty sure I can stay here another five minutes before it really kills me or would you get out straight away okay that's a good analogy thank you ah, I'd love a sticker it looks slightly fascistic this sticker to me you know it's a bit CND but it's a cross between CND and uh, the Third Reich Everyone's got very, very happy indeed. I think some kale wraps have been delivered or something. And so I must leave to go and have a nice drink with my son and leave them kettled in Trafalgar Square, happy, not tearing their hair out, devoted to their cause for a bit. 
very charming.